Nestle, one of Switzerland's most recognizable trademarks that recently marked its 150th anniversary. In this video, let's delve into the history of the brand and find out about its origins. Nestle's roots date back to 1849 when an assistant pharmacist called Henry Nestle set up his laboratory in the small Swiss town of Vevey on the shores of Lake Geneva. It was here in 1867 that he developed the invention that was to make him world famous. To help nurture and indeed save the lives of young babies, he created Ferran Lacte, the world's first infant food. Henry Nestle's prime concern was a healthy life for local newborn babies, but he realized that he could help even more mothers and their babies by exporting his successful new product to other countries so he built a network of agents and importers to distribute it first in europe but also in australia and south america by the 1870s it was selling in places as far afield as egypt russia mexico and indonesia around that time that mr nestle began his company a competing dairy concern began operation the competitor The Anglo-Swiss Condensed Milk Company was founded by three American brothers in Cham of Switzerland. Its milkmaid brand promised a safe alternative to fresh milk. In 1875, Nestle supplied Swiss chocolatier Daniel Peter with condensed milk, which he used to blend the first milk chocolate. However, it would be another 20 years before Nestle would become involved in the chocolate industry. In 1905, after Anglo-Swiss intentions to expand into the United States failed, the business combined with Nestle to form Nestle Anglo-Swiss. As early as 1910, Nestle owned plants throughout Europe, the United States, Australia, and Singapore, as well as warehouses in Hong Kong and Bombay. With the outbreak of World War I, things grew more challenging for the company. as demand for condensed milk skyrocketed while supply was severely depleted as a result nestle's attention was drawn to united states and australia where additional factories were established by the end of world war 2 the transition has been so successful that production had more than doubled for the corporation the next 30 years after world war 1 were a roller coaster ride of ups and downs The Wall Street crash of 1929 had a devastating effect on many other enterprises as well. Nestle on the other hand acquired Peter Keller Kohler, Switzerland's oldest chocolate manufacturer in the 1920s. The following decade saw the introduction of the malt coffee drink Milo to the Australian market which was a huge hit. Soon after in 1939 came a watershed moment. the fruits of which are most likely still lying in your kitchen cupboard today the great depression nescafe the world's first instant coffee for the mass market was introduced during the time when the brazilian government approached nestle about what to do with the massive amounts of surplus coffee that they were producing at the time they came up with the idea of nescafe when nestle acquired Alimentana, a Swiss company that manufactures Maggi soups after World War II, the company was able to extend its product line once more. Nestle first appeared on the market in the United States in the 1950s. It was immediately followed by Nesquik, which was an instant smash, with both of them becoming bestsellers. Nestle continued its upward trajectory at this period. acquiring frozen food companies and diversifying into pharmaceutical and cosmetics all while extending its food and beverage product lines and diversifying its revenue streams in the 21st century nestle continues its growth it built upon its mineral water interests by snapping up french and italian farms launching Nestle Purina Pet Care in 
becoming a force in the pet food sector in the process. And in 2020, Kraft Foods frozen pizza came under the company's umbrella. Many other enterprises have been launched by the company, but we can trace its origin all the way back to town of Vevey in Switzerland, where one man sought to provide a healthy option for mothers who were unable to breastfeed. Today, Nestle is the biggest food and drink company in the world, operating in 194 countries and producing everything from face cream to dog food. Truly a far cry from Nestle's first venture into condensed milk 150 years ago. Now, it is a market leader in most of the food and beverage categories it operates in. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we will look at the story of another big corporation.